What's going on guys? Gomes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. In the game today we have a brand new card. I think it is Alan Trammell. We could be misunderstood on that. Uh, there's an extension into the new event and there's also some brand new news about not the July Player of the Month program but going forward how that's going to work and roster updates. A lot of stuff to talk about but as always before we get into this one uh, make sure Leave a like down below, that'd be cool, that'd be sweet, that'd be fucking awesome, man. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet. On the slow grind to 50,000, gonna try and hit that by the end of the magnificent year of 2020. Uh, so make sure and hit that if you guys have not yet. And uh, let's go ahead and spread open these cheeks. Uh, 98 Alan Trammell, okay, that's what I'm talking about. If he has 80 plus power, I I'm gonna be a little excited. He doesn't quite. It's close. It is so, so close, but no cigar. 105, 111 contact, 74, 78 power. And the reason why we're looking for 80 power, remember, uh, misunderstood threshold. Uh, well, it, it is still a threshold. It's not guaranteed home runs if you get a perfect, perfect fly ball, but more often than not, you're looking for that 80 power. But he still is good enough. He'll still hit some home runs. 115 vision, diamond defense, can only play him at short. Uh, that does kind of suck because I would love to have some versatility on this card. Play him at second, play him at third or something. 81 arm, 75 speed. Now, believe it or not, look me in the eyes when I tell you this. I have not exactly used a whole bunch of Alan Trammell cards in the past. I know that might be quite surprising. He is a uh, fan favorite. He always sits at the popular lunch table. Everybody uses him, you know, uh, but not not me. Maybe this will be a different time. We're going to have to see how much he's going to go for on the market. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this card in the comments. Do you guys plan on picking, up, uh, picking him up, giving him any use? Uh, it could be good. We're, we're going to have to wait and see. If you can get him around 50k or something i think that would probably be a relatively good price let me just take a good old gander at the shortstop position uh remember we are getting jimmy rollins uh on the 24th for the sick fitting program so uh maybe you guys don't want to invest in that quite yet uh would i rather have robin yount or trammell i think i'd have rather have robin yount yeah these cards are basically identical damn it what the hell oh this is why I keep saying we need more attributes or something. These cards are carbon copies. Uh, insert the old Spider-Man meme. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think I'd probably rather have Robin Yount, and he is going to be going for less currently. Uh, so that is 98 Alan Trammell. Let's take a quick look at the new expansion on the event, uh, which is going to be prime time too. I do not think there are any new rewards. It still counts at 100. Uh, of course, we still have the Darvish, the Brian Dozier, and the Dylan Batances. And then now you guys are going to need to use uh, Prime Series Awards Signature Series series and face of the franchise so uh basically anything that isn't live series for the most part you are going to be able to use uh but you can also use bronze and silvers max team 94 this is six inning games with quick counts uh i don't know i, I don't love quick counts I, I sure as hell don't love six inning games uh it's just random it provides more rng into the game i know event is a you know a bit of a time to shake things up party a little bit uh but i'm not exactly looking for that kind of party it's on hall of fame difficulty still uh let me know if you guys plan on trying to get that uh we do not have a schedule update it does not appear uh remember on thursday not tomorrow but the next day trying to trying to do a little mr krabs impression didn't didn't work obviously nobody laughed uh monthly awards for july is going to be coming on thursday and then the following friday of course is going to be the sixth inning program and uh then let's go ahead and talk about the stuff they mentioned on their twitter last night and the first thing that's going to be about is roster updates that's something i want to talk about so uh you guys can see a little synopsis on the screen uh basically they realize that it is a very small sample size and they're going to really ramp up they're going nuts to butts and they're going weekly roster updates this ain't new i used to do this back at i think mlb 17 and before uh but we're back in business roster updates are going to be returning and uh also obviously i would have uh i would think 
that Inside Edge is going to be returning as well. So, um, there is a chance that some of these cards that could Trout could start to go up in price. I think if you guys do have Trout right now and you're considering to sell if you aren't looking to complete collections, if he isn't locked in, I don't think sell someone like him because this card, while it might not be the top tier for people to use right now, if you give him a plus six, I forget even how much Inside Edge boost, uh, but it's gonna make people wanna use him more. And a guy like Trout's always up on Inside Edge. They're going, uh, I, I think they're pretty much having games nearly every day, so it's not gonna be a whole lot of rest days where he doesn't have an Inside Edge boost. So that's something to think about. Some of these top diamonds, basically the 90 pluses, I think it would not be a bad idea to hold on to these and see what happens and then also roster updates being every week uh, Roster update predictions are going to return on this channel. I think roster updates were still on Fridays I, I could be wrong about that, but uh, I do believe it's on Fridays. I think I posted it on Christ, what, Tuesdays maybe? We'll see. Well, I'll, I'll decide when I want to post it, but uh, I think they did not give a, uh, they did not give an exact explicit date. I would think probably a week, at least one week after the season starts, it's supposed to uh, start back up, barring another, well, I was going to say another massive outbreak, but... <laughs> you guys have seen the numbers, there, there's, um, it's booming, business is booming for the uh, shit, I just got demonetized. God damn it. Uh, well, so much for that. Uh, but yeah, I think it's returning on the 23rd with the Yankees and Nationals, so we're gonna have that. And uh, start investing in some of these players, the 84, uh, you know, the guys that are gonna go diamond. We've talked about it a bit. I'll probably make another video about it, but Stanton's a good one. Uh, Juan Soto is a good one. These uh, Justin Bieber, Mike Clevenger, those are two good candidates as well. Uh, so roster updates are going to be returning. I wanna talk about player of the month a little bit too. They did confirm that we are going to get live content. Uh, they did not confirm anything, however, about uh, still continuing with Classic Player of the Month. Uh, so what it seems like right now is, unless we hear differently, we're going to get the July Player of the Month program, which is going to be classic stuff that's going to be on Thursday, either Guriel, Paxton, or Carpenter. And then starting in August, we are going to be getting live content, and they're just going to... I think exclude the rest of the stuff of the game. They haven't said uh, if we are still going to get that. I really hope so, man. It, it would kind of suck. There's still some cool players. And 99 Yelich in September would be uh, pretty goddamn cool. Uh, in August, we have Reese Hoskins, for example. Uh, there's definitely some cool cards that they could continue to roll out. We're going to have to see what happens. Uh, but for the time being, it does appear that is how it is going to be. Uh, I do want to rip a couple packs right here. While these cards are going for a little bit, we're going to test the waters. We're going to see what happens. Uh, also, in the comment section, a uh, bit of a tangent since we just started doing this, uh, let me know some candidates that you guys think are going up and overall. Uh, they did not say this specifically, but I, I'm going to pretty much say it for them. Uh, I would imagine it is going to work on pretty small sample sizes. I think it is going to be pretty volatile uh, because they know it wants to be fun. They want, you know, the P uh, us to be excited, invested uh, into, you know, who goes up, who goes down. So uh, we might see on a week to week basis, somebody might have, uh, it might be two, three weeks in, somebody's on fire and, you know, 82 already goes up to an 85. So I don't think it's going to need that much to break the ice. I think it is going to be pretty crazy, as is uh, the entire MLB uh, 2020 season. Uh, right now, it does look like it's going to be on. Uh, I do know there's... I think I saw out of all the players tested, there's still not that many that have um, actually tested positive, but... Time will tell to see what happens. It's, it's a real, it's a weird world, man. It's a weird situation. Uh, I don't know. If you guys like basketball, the bubble content is I extremely uh, fun to watch. Uh, but it appears these headliner packs are not going to be such fun to open. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, I, I know. I, I pulled back-to-back -back Chris Bryant's. I, am I exactly in the driver's seat to complain? Not exactly. Uh, I'm gonna take what I I'm gonna take what I get and deal with it and have a stern face. I'm not gonna have a frown on this uh, grimace. 
I think that, I think that fits. Uh, I don't know. I haven't been at school for a while. I forget how words work, but uh, that's going to be the update more or less. 98 Allen Chamel is your set 34 headliner pack. We have an extension into primetime events. Roster updates, player of the month coming on Thursday, and then live player of the month going forward. And uh, then uh, sick fitting program is going to be next Friday. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. The biggest of great today. Thank you.